Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. We got some big news, guys. Let's just dive straight into the video. The Michael Jackson estate has acquired the rights to the music from Steve Bercaro. Um, I'm reading this article here from the New York Times, and they do mention that it does include two vault tracks, Chicago 1945 and Dream Away, that Bercaro wrote with the star in the aftermath of Thriller. Although versions of the songs have leaked online, he has rarely told the full stories behind them. More information is going to be in the description below. You'll get access to the entire article um, that I found. Um, just, you know, on more details about the songs and stuff. But that, that's not what this video is about. Um, but definitely, if you haven't heard the leaks, I know people have opinions about it. I know this is a kind of a dated topic, but... You know, uh, it, it's it's something. And then we have um, the one thing that fans are upset about is what Branca said. Uh, this article says, um, the transaction is a way to bring in more Jackson's work. We want to control everything Michael's done. Um, and then Danny says, uh, what happens to the 200 release songs is unclear. They're focused on its upcoming Jackson biopic and has no immediate plans to release them. Now, they could be saying this because, oh, we don't want to release it now. We'll probably release it for the biopic soundtrack or maybe after. Um, do I think they should be released? 100%. I think Dream Away and Chicago 1945 are songs that I think the public should hear. Um, and this is not even because I'm an MJ fan. It's because they're very good songs. And I think Dream Away as a song is just i i it, it, it's it's amazing i i i prefer some of these unreleased songs over the songs that he actually put out um it depends on what the song is obviously but i don't know what it is i mean i i had an opinion that chicago 1945 is better than smooth criminal that's a hot take it that's just my opinion um but that has nothing to do with this but what do you guys think is going to happen? Do you, do you think the estate will be using these songs in the future? Do you think um, it's going to be a case where we'll never have them out? Do you think Dream Away is going to be in the biopic? Do you think they'll implement Chicago 1945 in the biopic? I don't think they will. I don't know how they will. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. Then we got another piece of information. Now, now that we get in the subject of the biopic. Um, so... Fans were so excited for Antoine Fuqua's uh, panel during Comic-Con. Now, here's a little clip of uh, Antoine Fuqua talking about Michael and how this film really, really, you know, like how, how he's enjoying it and, you know, everything. So, take, take a look at this. It's Michael. You know, first. Uh, but, you know, I'm in, I'm in the early stages of editing the film right now. Uh, just wrapped May 30th. Very excited about it. Very. I'm very happy with what we got in the can. Um, like I said, it's so early in, in the editing process. I don't want to talk too much about it. Michael was a big part of my life growing up. Big influence in my career. Um, an incredible artist, but he was a human being, and we're exploring that. But I'm very excited about it. Let's dive a bit deeper into that. So, Antoine Fuqua, he's talking about, you know, this, the biopic's in the early, early stages, you know, is he's doing this film for Michael, and, you know, all, all that stuff. He was an amazing artist, um, but also a human being. Again, I'm very happy that they're highlighting on the human being stuff, because Michael Jackson was a human being. Uh, some of these fans like to portray him as perfect. Um, so I am happy that there's going to be a, just that aspect of the film where it's also on the human being. But anyway... The main complaint that fans have been expressing on a lovely app called Twitter um, is the fact that 
they didn't show anything. They didn't show any teaser. They didn't show a video or photo. People got mad about that. And here's my take. I think they're trying to get us to wait even longer. And I think that's amazing. I think that's amazing because th this shows me that they're not rushing this project. They are not rushing this. And I think you have to really look at it from a bright side um, to any project. I know people are excited, but at the same time, it leads to me thinking like, okay, are these the same people that were literally nitpicking and making fun of Jafar and saying that he didn't look like Michael Jackson uh, or this film's going to flop because Brank is a part of it or bullshit like that. Um, another thing I want to highlight is um, we have to understand that this is a movie and they're going to target this for an audience, a general audience. Do you really think they're going to put out a movie on a date that only fans are aware of? Like, I nobody has ever said this, but I wouldn't be surprised if a fan said, this biopic is going to come out during Victory Day. No, there's no way that's going to happen. Say even June 25th. Uh, it's going to come out in April. It's spring. I think they're pushing it for spring. I would have said holiday season uh, probably would have been the best bet. Probably, I think that, that would have been the case if the strike didn't happen. Um, I think COVID also played a part in it. It depended on when, whenever like the like the production started. I mean, not filming, but just like the, when whenever they were to start filming. But I know they filmed the biopic like early this year like from january to may so they literally just wrapped but it was primarily due to the writer strike I, I don't think it had anything to do with covid but that may have delayed like the writing process but i was told that the, they actually wrote the film in like 2018 um but again uh, please correct me if my timelines are wrong um but um no, i'm just saying we're we, we gotta we still need to wait we still got to understand that this is a process and they're really taking their time. Last thing I want to highlight before we go is Funko is killing it right now with the Funko Pops. They just, um, they didn't release it yet, but they uh, posted that there's going to be an off the wall Michael Jackson Funko. If this is going to be real, if this is real, this is amazing. They are killing it with the Funkos. Um, they've released more than I have expected. Um, so great job, Funko. I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, 2025 is going to be a huge year. Uh, not even just for Michael, but in general, we got a lot of things coming your way. The biopic, maybe some estate project, um, GTA 6, of all things. Um, for theme park fans, Epic Universe in 20 2025 is going to be a huge year. So let's make that year happen strong and also... Let's obviously look forward to, the, to, to this biopic, of course. All right, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.